Okay, good day, everyone. Today I want to share about this HIK Vision AS Hybrid Pro via input expander. Okay, so this is how we uh, call, configure to the AS Hybrid Pro alarm. So, okay, I'm over here. I have uh, this already unboxed the AS Hybrid Pro. Okay, so this is a bit like I have something to share. Lah. Okay, so uh, this is my whole system. Okay, which is uh, this is uh, AS Hybrid Pro. Okay, so this AS Hybrid Pro, they have a keypad over here. So make sure your keypad is running 0, zero. Okay, and this will be running ID1. For the expander, you have to running ID1. For the keypad, you have to running 0. If you have a two keypad, of course, 0, zero ID1, and the, this is will be ID2. Okay, so you make sure don't be conflict over this part. Okay, over here, they have a... Rise for f you make sure they have a negative and also the positive so the negative positive already pull into the keypad as you see over here okay okay over here and this part another wire are connecting to the wire expander okay so we have studied over the wire expander over here okay so wire expander over here you make sure the connection will be like that okay they have a bus in will be a bus in data minus data plus will be connecting to the over here respectively okay minus over here minus over here plus over here and plus over here okay so the power i recommend that you give another power alternative lah. that means you power up another another adapter over here okay will be the best choice it because I worry that not enough power over to supply to the, to the expander and also the other stuff lah. okay so over here you just pull rise 485 from here, over here to the expander and also the power to the to the expander over here okay the wiring I will disclose later okay one thing this is a zone okay as you see they have a zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 same thing you also go into zone to the uh, sensor sensor come back to the com okay that's all for the wiring part later i will do the boot up okay okay so this is the wiring okay so we first of all we have to understand the panel first all right so the panel as usual we over here but how you have to understand from this panel on the right or the left hand side they have a deep switch they have a connector so, so this connector we look to the keypad right isn't it so com will be go to com minus will be the keypad minus aux will be the keypad plus d data minus will be a data minus d data plus plus for the data plus for the keypad okay so exactly same thing but over here on the wire expander over here i prefer you use data minus and data plus which is connect this bus in plus and minus respectively okay so and power by normal dc 12 volt adapter i think around 2a 3a will be okay ready no need that high because this just a uh just a board only okay so over here they have a zone over here so this zone you have to connecting to the uh sensor lah. okay like this is a vibration sensor just as usual how you connect from the zone one come that's all only so the tip switch is a bit you have to understand because this switch is time for address okay so as normal as default the keypad will not set any address so we, we is usually usually keypad tip switch is zero so that's why this wire expander we have to set one so we just make it tip switch one will be enough okay that's all for the wiring okay so now i'm to going to power up it okay so i close the housing and close the housing so this all wiring i done ready so i'm going to power it up okay so we're waiting for the signal
Okay, so you can you see over here the keypad already done, and the this already become a green. So this is all the things we doing here lah. So it's already fully power up. So now I want to to add this sensor. This sensor loop to channel one. Okay, as just now we see the wiring. Okay, so we now going to the HIK Connect app to check the AS Hybrid Pro. So the AS Hybrid Pro, you enter, you go to the AS Hybrid Pro over here. Do you see a device? You click the device. You you notice that they have an input expander one. <clears throat> so you want to add the zoom one now. Uh, you just click the device. Means click the device, then go to the add device. Okay, because it's a detector, it's a leave detector. You are looped to channel one. Yes, that's okay. So you click add. So it's ready done and roll. So the detector type is a shock detector. Okay, because I look my vibration into it. So like this, it's done ready. So you can go in back. So now it's done. So now I'm going to show you how exactly done. So that's why I click away. Okay, so we back to the real life. Okay. So we back to on the real life this part. <coughs> Okay, so this is an expander. So I just now I already arm the alarm. So I just over here I knock the thing. So within the expander he will trigger. Okay. So this is the uh, so this is how the thing is works. Lah. So I want to disarm it. We're going back to the air hybrid pro over here. So just uh disarm it. Lah. Okay, so I want to give another section. Means that just now I trigger the zone that is a uh, under expander but now I want to show you is another things okay so we back to the camera this part okay so it's not showing over here ma. but now I want to trigger this this magnetic contact is a direct loop to the over here okay so now we try to arm the alarm okay I arm the alarm okay we back over here okay, so now I trigger the alarm So you see uh, the non expander one he will not trigger the red light over here. Okay? The the zone is not connecting to this will not have a uh, alert. But he connecting to the uh, direct to the panel zone, it will also trigger as well. There's no need to worry. So this information I want to share to you all guys also. Okay? Thank you and please like and subscribe.